Hi everyone, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a little time lapse of the process for a landscape painting in oils. And before we get started, just as a quick note, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, but if you want to support my work, you can purchase my paintings from my website, or you can join my Patreon, or you can comment and subscribe to my channel. All of these things really help me out. And with that, let's get started. So today for this painting, I'm going to be painting based off of a reference I took on a recent trip to Ireland. Um, I went to Ireland for the first time and I had so much fun and I just fell in love with the beautiful landscape there. It's different from the landscape of California. It's a lot more green. Um, there's a lot more, yeah, just like it gets a lot more rain. So you have a lot of green fields. Um, it's a little bit flatter than California, but there are areas where you can kind of get a little bit of a view and get a vista of just the expansive hills and or the expansive fields in Ireland. So um, that's the reference that I had for this one. We were on a hike in Western Ireland and we kind of got up to this higher vantage point and you could just see this whole patchwork of fields in the Irish landscape, which was just so stunning and beautiful. And I loved how the green fields were kind of just going off into the distance and almost disappearing. So um, it was it was a bit of a humid day and I feel like there was a lot of humidity in the air and that gave the landscape this sense of atmosphere. So I felt like the fields were kind of disappearing off into the distance, partially because they were so far away, but also I don't know if the humidity had an effect on that. And And it was kind of this like overcast cloudy sky which I also think that like overcast skies can be fun to paint because you can have a lot of freedom in which color you choose for the sky and so you can see here in this painting I've I put in almost like a pinkish a yellowy pink sky which contrasts really nicely with the blue of of the fields off in the far distance and then as I'm building up the colors towards the foreground I'm making them a lot greener and a lot more saturated so I'm using a lot of atmospheric perspective here and just really taking advantage of um, <clears throat> of the actual atmospheric perspective that I was seeing when I was in the landscape and and exaggerating it a little bit as well it wasn't quite as extreme um, when I was there or even just looking at my photo reference but I really wanted to create this sense of deep space in the image and I think it's really fun to be able to do that even on such a small painting to be able to create this sense of of expansiveness and deep space so what I'm doing with this one I'm trying to use atmospheric perspective not only shifting the things far into the distance to a much bluer tone but also in the foreground I'm using a lot of strong contrast while in the background I'm keeping the contrast really low and so a lot of the shapes that I'm seeing here and one of the things that I found just so charming about Ireland is that there's all these fields that are separated by these stone walls and so it kind of creates a, a patchwork it's almost like a quilt of um of farmland that just spans out into the distance and so i'm using that to create interesting variations in shapes and also to um, give some contrast so we have the walls and the trees that kind of separate these farms they're really dark um, they're casting shadows and then further out into the distance I can reduce the contrast between the walls and trees and the fields themselves so you can see as as I'm going kind of further back in the image the trees and the walls are going from a really dark saturated green to a more kind of muted green color that's just a little bit darker and a little bit greener than the fields themselves Another thing that I was thinking about as I worked on this painting was to make sure that I had variation within the shapes that I was creating in the farmland. So as you can see, the trees and the stone walls, they kind of divide up the green of the fields into into little, I guess, uh, they're, they're 
not rectangles, like rhombus, rhombuses, um, diamonds, like these diamond shapes. Um, and so, but I didn't want the shapes to just be like one flat color of green. And in the photo, in my reference, I think the color was flattened a little bit, but I know that when I was there and when I was seeing it, there was some variation in the greens that I was seeing in the landscape. So I wanted to make sure to include that as well. And then to also, um, yeah, to use that to sort of draw your eye more to the foreground by having some really bright um, splotches of color and some interesting changes in hue. So I'm kind of going back and forth with the brush and the palette knife to bring those colors in and also give the painting a little bit more texture too um, because I want I want the foreground to really feel like it's coming towards you and then the background to really disappear into the distance. And to that extent the palette knife is kind of serving two purposes for me here. In the foreground, it's giving me some really sharp lines that create strong contrast and I feel like draw the eye. And then in the background, I'm actually using the palette knife to blur a lot of the edges and to sort of um, merge the shapes together a little bit to get that atmospheric perspective. So um, I, I think it's interesting how we can use the same tool, but it can lead to really different effects. And with this painting, it was really fun to see how far I could push the greens, just how saturated I could make them, and even bringing in some yellows into into the fields as well, just seeing what I could do with those colors because it is so different from the landscape I'm used to painting in California, which is which has a lot more golds and yellows and browns in it. So I was just really enjoying getting to explore that color palette with this landscape. And yeah, the, the landscape of Ireland is just so beautiful. Um, it, it was such a great motif and something that's so fun to paint. I'm a big fan of the writer John O'Donohue, and he speaks a lot about the beauty of the Irish landscape. And I, I think when I went there, I just felt an immediate connection um, to what he was saying. And I think that there's, I don't know, there's such a healing property of being out in the landscape and also when we can go somewhere and we can see from such a we can see such a vast distance like I feel this sense of awe that I'm connected to in the landscape so I mean it may be ambitious to try to to try to convey such a sense of awe in a painting especially in a really small painting like this but um but I had to at least give it a try, you know. <laughs> Especially living in the city, I'm so often just crowded by buildings and um, the things that are on my city block. And it's so nice when I can go out to the landscape or if, I'm, if I have a painting of the landscape, then I feel like even when I'm in the city, I can still connect with this feel, uh, this feeling of expansiveness and awe that I do experience when I'm out in a, a beautiful place in nature. I love the capacity for landscape painting to invite us into this more peaceful state of, of contemplation or meditation. I think that's, um, it's such a beautiful effect that, that these landscape paintings can have. And as an artist and as a creator, I just find nature to be this endless source of inspiration. But yeah, so that's basically all for this painting. I tried to keep it fairly simple with this strong focus on practicing atmospheric perspective, getting that sense of deep space, and not getting too detailed, but still conveying that sense of depth. For the finishing touches, I added a few sort of suggestive details, but tried to keep the overall shapes um, very simple and strong. So here's how the painting turned out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you do landscape paintings as well, let me know your favorite place to paint. Thanks so much for watching, and also a big thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting these videos. If you like my art, and you like my videos, and you want to help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link. That's all for today. See you in the next video.